What's up guys, CodeMonkey99 here with you today to show you how to finally finish up our big ME network. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be finding a way to get our stuff from Corey's that we have going or stuff from our laser drills going all the way into our system and becoming just tin ingots or silver ingots, whatever we want it to be, just smelted down and out of the way without having ores lying everywhere like what I have in my hand. So we're just going to find a quick way to do this real quick. And for that we're going to go to the back of my giant facility that is overly big, that doesn't need to be this big. Alright, so all we have to do here is set up our ME interface like this one set up. This setup is for gold ore and copper ore and it's in our export config. And as we can see, whenever one of these items are actually being pulled, it'll glow up like what it did with that gold ore. And it'll come through this little macerator, and through the macerator it'll come into this induction furnace, and it'll cook it up as soon as it hits, just like that. And then this will pull it out and send it all the way back around back into the interface. Now, you don't have to use golden transport pipes or wooden transport pipes with all these engines. All you have to use are these item ducts. But instead, I had some little engines just for fun, I guess, just laying around from my old quarries and stuff that I don't use anymore, so I use those. So all I do is I set up my export config. I want gold ore, copper ore, and whatever else you want to put in there. Um, now, it will take the most top left thing that there is. So, whenever you do it, you don't have to worry about it trying to pull 15 or 20 items at one time. It'll just try to pull all the gold ore that it can. So, in like 1, 2, 3, 4, as much until the gold ore runs out. And then it'll go to the copper ore and go 1, 2, 3 and keep exporting it until the copper's out. And it's really that simple as you can see. Um, so all you have to do to get this to go is you come over in here and you put this in here. So let's say you have your gold ore, and like we just put it in there. And this is now going to realize that, hey, I have gold ore. So what it's going to do is it's going to just start pulling it out and crushing it all and putting it into the induction furnace and macerator. And then it just comes back right as gold ores. And that's all you have to worry about. That's as simple as that is. A gold ingot rather than a gold ore. So it just comes in back into the sentence and it can um, come anywhere, anywhere into this ME interface. And it doesn't matter. You don't have to set it up to accept. All it has to do is just get it in and it'll feed it right into the system. All you have to do is configure the export and you're done. It's that easy, guys. Alright, so our next episode will be over Tinker's Construct and getting rare manillion, <laughs> manillion ingots and powder and dust and all that. Alright, guys, see you next time. Bye.